in this video i'll be talking about well ordering principle and this principle is considered as an axiom in number theory in many other results we use this well ordering principle to prove that results it state every non empty set s of non negative integers contain a least or a smallest element or we can say that there is some integer a belonging to s such that a is always less than or equal to b for all b belonging to s so we can say that s is a set of non negative integer and it always have a smallest element and we do not have a proof for this principle we assume that this is an axiom that this fact is true and assuming that this fact is true that for every set which is a non negative integer if we can show that this set is non empty so as long as we can prove that it is non empty we can say that it has a smallest element so while applying this well ordering principle basically we are looking for two property that s is a set of non negative integers so i may say s consists of natural number including the zero because i am said that it is a non negative integers and s is non empty so whenever we have these two two properties so we can say that a is the smallest element in the set s and based on that we can prove the result or the application that we intend to prove as an application of the well ordering principle let us first prove the archimedean property so let me to first give the statement of this archimedean property it says if a and b are any positive integers then there exists a positive integer n such that n a is greater than or equal to b now to prove the archimedean property i'll take it on the counter side and i assume that the statement is not true so assume the statement is not true so if i assume that the statement is not true so then i will consider now again for some a and b the integers that i have considered here in the statement for some a and b which belong to integer what i assume is that na is strictly less than b for every n which is a positive integer so i have considered n also a positive integer you can see that n is a positive integer and we said that for exists a positive integer and now when i take it on the counter side i have to consider that n is strictly less than b for every n so that means this statement this is not true okay so now once we have considered this case so now let us consider the set s so we consider the set s and we define the set in a way so that it gives us the positive integer so to get the positive integer from the set that is now written here so i need to consider the element in the set as b minus n a and we can see that s is non empty because we have considered the selection as n is less than b for every n belonging to this positive so b minus n is a positive quantity and we can also say that s is a set of positive integers so when s is a set of positive integers i can apply the well ordering principle so by well ordering principle so now let us apply this principle and this principle suggests us that we can have a least element in the set s so we say that s has a least element and now select the least element as b minus m a so and m obviously belongs to the positive integer so now considering that this is a least element and m belong to integer we also note that whenever m belong to integer m plus 1 also belong to integer we can note that b minus m plus 1 times a this is same as b minus m a minus a and this whole quantity is strictly less than b minus m a because we are subtracting it minus a from this side now you can see that that we have got a smallest element than b minus m a and this element b minus m plus 1 into a this belong to the set s by the construction of the element here as we can say that all the element of this type b minus n times a whenever n is a positive integer it belong to the set s so we say that m plus 1 is a positive integer so definitely this element must belong to the set s but and this is smaller than b minus m a so this contradicts our choice of the selection that s has the least element b minus m a so this contradicts the choice that b minus m a is least element in s and hence the archimedean properties hold